Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on and let you know that we have now added in the ability for you to create product categories within your Design Files account that you can sync over to QuickBooks. And this will help give you more insight into how much you're billing out and how much you're earning from each of these individual product categories. So if this is something that you have set up within QuickBooks and you wanna be able to map product income over to specific categories from your Design Files account, you can do that now and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it step by step. So let's go ahead, we're gonna start from the very beginning. So the first thing that you're gonna do when you log into your Design Files account is to go into the menu in the top right hand corner. You're gonna click into settings. In settings, you're gonna click into QuickBooks Sync up here. Now on your QuickBooks Sync page, if I scroll down here, you'll see that you have this option where you can choose to map all your product income to a specific product income account. But below that, you now have the ability to add in individual product categories. And you would just click this link right here to manage your categories. It'll bring you to this view. You click new category, add in the category name, hit save changes, and it will show in this list. Now, when you do this, the key thing to know is that if you've already got product categories set up within your QuickBooks account, you need to make sure that you use the exact same naming convention for the categories that you're adding to your Design Files account. So it has to match up perfectly, and then everything will just sync over to those uh, specific product categories. And if you don't have any categories already set up within QuickBooks, then you don't have to think about this. You're just gonna go ahead, add your categories, and when you apply a category to a line item within your invoice and sync it over, that will just become a new category within your QuickBooks account. So now I'm just gonna pop back to, once you've set up all your categories, I'm just gonna pop back to the account settings page and go into the QuickBooks Sync option. And there's a couple of things that you can then do here. So we've set up a number of categories here. Now, depending on how you like to work with your accountant or how your accountant has your QuickBooks account set up, there's two things you could do here. You can still choose to map all your product income over to a specific product income account. So even if you create all your individual categories, if you still want all those categories to map over to one specific product income account, then you can do that. Or if your accountant has in fact set up individual income accounts within your QuickBooks account, then what you can do is you can actually choose to use the menu here and you can select a specific income account that you're gonna map the uh, category over to. So you've got the two options. You can have a quick chat with your accountant, see how they prefer to have your account set up, and then you can just go ahead and make your selections on this page. Now, once you've done that, now we can start going over to a project and we can create an invoice. So I'm gonna pop into this project here. I've already created this uh, sample invoice that we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and we're gonna edit this. Now, when I come into this invoice, you can see I've added in a few line items and you can see there's a new column here for category. If you don't see the category column, all you need to do is pop up and click the configure button here. It's gonna open up this panel and you just wanna make sure that the category toggle is turned on. And if you want it to show from here on out, you can just turn this toggle on to set it as a default and save the changes. Now, once you have your category column showing here, you can now start applying a category to any of these line items. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the furniture category for the first two. We'll do lighting and we'll just do accessories. <clears throat> I've already got my taxes. I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly send this invoice off because I wanna submit this so that we can sync it over to QuickBooks and then we'll be able to pop over to Quick, uh, QuickBooks and see how it's looking on that end. Okay, so we can see that it's syncing now. I'll let it do its thing. And once it's in sync, we'll pop over to QuickBooks. Okay, perfect. So now it's in sync. So let's go ahead. We're gonna pop into the button with the three dots. I'm going to click the option to view this invoice on QuickBooks, and that will take us over to my account. All right, so here we've got the invoice, it's synced over. If I scroll down here, I'll see the individual line items. And you can see now that there is a category that's been applied to each and every one of these line items. So it's just gonna show at the beginning and then you'll see the individual product name. Now, 
the nice thing about this is that now that the categories are syncing over, it means we can really start making use of some of the reports within QuickBooks to see how much we're earning and how much we're billing out for each of these product categories. So let's just close this invoice down here for a sec and we're gonna pop into the reports section within QuickBooks. Now there's, there's a million reports that you can check out, but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, look into this one right here where it's sales by product service summary. We'll click into this. And when I look at my report here, I can see that my categories have been applied to this report now. So I can now see a detailed breakdown of the total amount for the accessories category, for my furniture category, for my lighting category. And it's gonna allow you to really get a good sense of how much you're billing out for each and every one of these specific product types. So if this is something that you're interested in, or if your accountant would prefer to have individual categories set up within your QuickBooks account, you can let them know that that's now possible. You'll have the ability to set it up exactly the way you want within your design files account and make sure everything syncs over. Now this new feature is available in our new full service plan. Uh, this and actually uh, 14 other awesome new updates have been added to the full service plan. So if you're interested, pop on over to our plans page. You can see a detailed breakdown of what's included. And if you really would like to have access to this feature and the other 14 new updates that are part of that plan, then go ahead and upgrade your account. And of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, just reach out. We're happy to help.